looks like the one you touch! Do I look like the one you touch? Damn it! Now back the fuck up! You hit like a You hit like a Relax, relax, take a breather. That was the old Chris White. The new Chris White can actually hoop a little bit. I first heard of Chris when he emerged from Team Rocket about three years ago. He eventually broke off from Savage Squad and made his own team, the Hoolies, and has since shown that he's more than just a hothead. His aggressive playstyle has prompted me to scout the strengths and weaknesses in his one-on-one -on -one game. If you pay attention, you could avoid ending up like this guy. Chris's first go-to move is a right hook out of the post. As one of the only bigs in the YouTube one-on-one -on -one scene, it's almost impossible for a lot of the guards I've scouted so far to keep him out of the paint. And while it may not be the most entertaining thing to watch at times, size is a part of the game, and I don't want to penalize him for using his size to his advantage. Once he makes his way to the block, he's almost always going to hit you with a right hook, and he does have a pretty nice touch around the rim. With all that being said, I'm not a big fan of all the complaining. That's not a foul, bro. Okay. Landing on my whole body. He really fouled me on the reach, but it's okay. For a guy whose slogan is he's a baby, no one cries about fouls as much as Chris. It's especially embarrassing when he's playing someone half his size and he's complaining about a touch foul. Still, most of his opponents are going to have no chance against him in the post, and I would just be hating if I didn't call it a strength in ones. Now what has surprised me about Chris's game is his ability to move around on the perimeter. Looking at his player build, I didn't think he'd be able to shoot, let alone dribble, but Chris actually has some pretty nice moves in his bag. His favorite seems to be a step back three that is practically impossible to guard given his height. He's able to shoot the step back going both left and right, which is rare even for guards. Although he's not quick, he uses a great change of pace and he has good footwork, which allows him to create space from his defender. You could see the move used to perfection in his games against Jay Lu, where he skunked him twice with practically all jumpers. Watch out for Chris's step back next time he plays. Moving on to weaknesses, Chris has some problems on the defensive side of the ball. While his size helps him on offense, it usually hurts him on the perimeter, as he doesn't have the foot speed or lateral quickness to keep up on drives without fouling. He doesn't really get into a low defensive stance at all, which makes it pretty easy for guards to blow by him. Look at his defensive stance here versus Julian. He's practically standing upright, and he's in no position to slide his feet to block off the driving lane. Because he's slow, Chris often concedes the jumper and just hopes to god that his opponent misses the wide open shot. This allows guys that shouldn't have a chance against him to sneak in some wins. Hey, you can have one, bud. Yeah, we know, that's what they wanted. Another slight weakness for Chris is his predictability on offense. Once he goes into his dribble package, you can bet that he's eventually gonna take a step back. He doesn't have the explosiveness or the mobility to get to the rim without going into the post, so he's not really a threat to drive at all. 
Smart defenders will realize this, and you could usually live with him taking a contested step back shot. If Chris gained some mobility and started driving hard to the rim like he does here against LSK, he'd become even more dangerous. But for now, his offensive game is a little predictable. Moving on to his ranking, this was a really difficult choice, but I settled for placing Chris as a top YouTube all-star. His shooting ability, size, and aggression allow him to compete with some elite guys like J-Law and Friga, but issues with defense and stamina bring him down a little bit. I debated between making a new tier list altogether for bigs, but that's too much work, so I'm also trying to standardize for size here. If we're being real, Chris would probably be a lot of the guys on my all YouTube second team due to size alone, but I still think j -Lu and Cam are better one-on-one -on -one players. I do wonder how he would stack up against other bigs in the YouTube scene. He's had some quality wins against LSK and Slim, but I do think his lack of mobility would place him somewhere below guys like Body Bag and Ty Glover. Let me know what you guys think about his game and ranking, and comment below who I should scout next. You stupid! You're lucky I just smacked you!